District Attorney George Gascon filed a petition requesting a new sentence for the brothers. Now in their 50s, the brothers have spent most of their adulthood in prison, sentenced to life without parole for killing their parents. But Eric and Lyle Menendez contend that they were driven to murder after years of what they describe as sexual abuse by their father. Much of the evidence about the alleged abuse was excluded at their last trial, and they were found guilty. Gascon says that they've paid their debt to society and deserve the opportunity to be reevaluated. Here to discuss is former federal prosecutor Nima Romani. So, Nima, this, this seems to have happened really quickly within a few months. You had the documentary, you had the Netflix series, now this petition. What are your thoughts on how this has all played out? Well, Rahel, we're talking about the perfect storm of PR and politics. Obviously, the Netflix series Monsters has a lot to do with this, but we're also a week and a half away from a highly contested election for district attorney here in Los Angeles, and releasing the Menendez brothers makes for good politics for district attorney George Gascon. Hmm. So family and supporters of the Menendez brothers have said that they want the brothers released, and they want them released by Thanksgiving. Walk us through the reality of that legally. That's not going to happen. So Gascon could have recommended a resentencing to time served, but he didn't. Instead, he's recommending 50 to life. Because it's a range, now Judge William Ryan is going to have to first determine whether the brothers pose a threat to the public. If so, he can reject the request and the parties can appeal. But question is, will Gascon even be in office or will there be a new district attorney? But even if Judge mm -hmm. Ryan approves the resentencing request, it has to go before the parole board and they can determine whether to grant it or not. And even if they do, California Governor Gavin Newsom can still reject the request. So what would you say is a more realistic timeline of when this sort of makes its way through the legal process in terms of the parole board and et cetera? Well, now that the resentencing request is in, the judge should hold a hearing within 30 days. And then after that hearing, weeks later, the brothers will go before the parole board. Now, the parole board usually only grants these requests less than 50 percent of the time. But I do think Lyle and Eric have a good shot because of how they've behaved in prison. And mm -hmm. then it's really up to Governor Gavin Newsom. But we may look at the brothers being released not by Thanksgiving, but by the end of the year. Okay, Nima, we're going to have to leave it here because my understanding is that we actually have uh, the four, well, the current vice president.